news of the Pigeon and Crow ban. I urge you to have a look at the Field Sports News webpage on the fieldsportschannel.tv website, and in particular, F Channel slash General Licenses, where we are able to announce what Natural England said yesterday, uh, and which comes into force tomorrow, Thursday, the 25th of April, 2019, that the government has bowed to pressure from Chris Packham and has banned the shooting of 16 bird species. This is only in England, um, pigeons, and most crow species, Canada geese uh, and others. We're absolutely appalled at the way the announcement's been made by Natural England and quite rightly the rural community who have to let manage the land are outraged by this. We were all aware there was a legal challenge to general licences but we'd been assured by Natural England there'd be a full consultation process which of course we'd be happy to feed into but this, to do this at the drop of a hat without any form of notification at this particular time of year this is a really key time of year for land management and pest control, not just for the shooting community, but for the farming community. Food security and crop protection is absolutely key now, particularly with lambing at this time of year. Corvids pose a huge threat to farmers at this time of year. This is absolutely outrageous. We can't understand it, and we don't see that this is how government agencies should behave. We'll be talking to Natural England, we are talking to Natural England, and we'll be asking for answers. Uh, and we'll keep our members informed as soon as we possibly can. This all came about because of Chris Packham. He and two other animal rights activists, that's Ruth Tingay and Mark Avery, put together a, a crowd-funded scheme called Wild Justice to ask the government to uh, drop the general licenses. And it appears that the government's lawyers have simply folded. What we know so far is the three licenses cover 16 bird species, including several members of the crow family. That includes crows, magpies, rooks, jackdaws and jays, uh, feral and wood pigeon, and a number of invasive non-native species such as Canada geese. The specific licenses that Natural England is talking about are GLO4, which is taking and killing certain species of wild birds to prevent serious damage or disease, GLO5, uh, which is there to preserve public health or public safety, and GLO6, uh, which is about conserving wild birds or flora or fauna. So it looks like you cannot go shooting from tomorrow in order to preserve public safety or to save songbirds, which are of course nesting at the moment. Details are sketchy. We don't know whether the ban includes protecting crops yet. Uh, we think it doesn't. It probably does include larsen traps, so you can't catch magpies anymore. Here's what the Countryside Alliance is doing about it. This is government by consensus and uh, consultation, or is it a complete mess? Oh, it's government by cock-up, Charlie. There's no, there's no doubt about that. Um, and it seems as though there has been, and it's no surprise to any of us, by the way, that um, some of the work that has been done to establish the Open General Licence and, and being able to, uh, Natural England being able to delegate the authority to decide on whether, whether stuff needs to be controlled to us, the users, uh, that hasn't been done properly. Um, and uh, the, the legal challenge that has come in has highlighted that and as I understand it Natural England's legal advice is that they need to go back and to do some recent assessments of the, the need to control certain species for certain reasons and once they've done that they will be able to issue open general licenses again um, but so in the meantime we've got chaos. Are they going to be able to get out of this one? I think for most species uh, and for most of the use uh, it would seem straight, fairly straightforward and that makes it even more frustrating in many ways because what it means is that if, if the work can be done properly over the years and these licenses are reviewed every year, there's consultation, there's no reason it shouldn't have been done. But for instance when we're talking about um, controlling pigeons because they're damaging crops or controlling corvids because they're going after ground nesting birds, you know, these are th there is plenty of science that shows that that's necessary and therefore there shouldn't be a problem. Um, but, uh, and there shouldn't have been a problem now because that should have been done on a regular basis. So so there's a real frustration there. Whether um, there's, we're able to establish, or sort of not us, Natural England are able to establish uh, a, good, a good assessment in relation to every species that's currently on the list, I'm not sure. And so we may see some changes and there may be, I hope there'll be some discussion because there hasn't been much so far. So what are the general licenses? Well, let's go back to 1979. April 1979, the EC brought out the Wild Birds Directive, which had to become law in the UK. We adopted the Wild Birds Directive as, the, uh, as part of the 1981 Wildlife and Countryside Act, and it was a Tory government fudge, because what nobody noticed until 
halfway through drafting of the Act was the EC Birds Directive banned the shooting of all migratory birds. That's pretty well all birds. There were exceptions for game birds and ducks, but pretty well everything else we've been talking about in this little piece was banned. So the Tory government said, okay, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna say there's an exception to this rule. So everybody's banned from shooting everything apart from everybody. So nobody can shoot anything except everyone. They can shoot everything. There you go. Uh, they said to the shooters at the time, people like Wagby, don't worry chaps, it's a bit of a fudge, it'll roll over year to year, nobody will be any the wiser. And of course, uh, the shooting organisations accepted it at the time because government was a very clubbable thing. Well, fast forward to the 2000s and the Labour government of the day suddenly decides, suddenly discover that they could actually ban quite a lot of shooting quite easily by revoking the general licences. And in 2005, uh, I got together with the Times newspaper and we, we produced this rather horrifying piece. Uh, at the time, the best the uh, Labour government could come up with, and this is a good example of why governments should be kept very, very far away from wildlife laws, if at all possible, is that uh, you are allowed to shoot you're allowed to shoot birds as long as you try and scare them first. And that's what I'm doing in this photograph here. I'm holding up a magpie and a shotgun. I'm trying to scare the magpies before I shoot them. And that will work, won't it? Uh, and as the headline writer put at the bottom, never mind the birds, it scared me. Now, luckily, as one civil servant told me at the time, there's one thing we, the civil service, don't like. It's being made to look like asses. So that law never came about. However, it looks like the wild justice crowdfunding exercise by Chris Packham, which raised a few tens of thousand pounds, uh, to write a single legal letter to the government, probably with uh, without prejudice written in crayon at the top, has worked. And the government lawyers have gone, all right, that's it, let's ban it then. Uh, leaving Natural England with an unholy mess to sort out. And a mess that is really gonna hurt pigeon shooters on the ground. Here's what Tom Payne, pigeon shooter, thinks of it. The news that Natural England is revoking three general licences as of Thursday the 25th has come as a complete shock to myself, the shooting community and the shooting organisations. Crops are moving into a critical period of growth. Livestock farmers have young on the ground and nesting birds with young and eggs left vulnerable. The farming industry, the shooting community, the rural community and the shooting industry have been completely let down in the communication by a governmental organisation that has not acted as would be expected. Here's that link again to find out what's going on. It's f channel slash general licences.